In this presentation, we are going to look at isomorphic graphs. We're going to see if two graphs are isomorphic. Examples here. Here's the first. Oops, let's go back there a second. What we're going to do is determine whether or not the, pair, the following pair of graphs are isomorphic to each other. So we have, let's first off just check that they have the same degree sequence. 3, 3, 3, 3, uh, 3, and 3. And likewise over here, it's pretty clear over here that everything, they are both th three regular graphs. Okay, but is that enough? we're going to find out soon enough now that's not enough to prove it what we have to do is try and sort of uh look at the edges and just sort of, sort of see if there is an equivalence there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the next slide here now and in the first instance what i'm going to do is i'm going to see if i can equate uh vertex six with vertex d and what we're going to do is we are going to uh examine the edges of both sets of vertices so in the first instance what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, by the way actually just as a remark coloring in bringing a sort of set of markers with you to the um, ex an exam hall when you're doing this is pretty handy what I'm going to do first off is the vertex from 6 to 5 and 6 to 1 I'm going to see if I can equate them to this one down here, A, and this one down here. Uh, I'm going to let that equal 5, I'm going to let that equal 1, I'm going to let that equal C, and I'm going to let that one equal A. Necessarily the one in between, it just actually uses as many colors as you can just to sort of make it as easy to follow. This one down here, I'm going to see if I can equate that to b okay so let's do the same thing over here okay now the vertices that are connected to one and five uh, are in other words on the or in the other diagram a and c they both connect to four and f so let's do that let's go there let's paint them in orange so this one here and this one here and we're going to see if that equates to F. Now so let's do the same thing on the other diagram here. Uh, by the way this is a very long approach now I'm not sort of pretending this is a quick approach but it's just it's a very uh, you know uh, if you um, uh, haven't any trouble with it. So I'm going to paint those ones up there. So that looks good so far. Now what has to happen is that B and A have to connect to uh, C. So essentially what we're looking at is vertex 2, vertex B. Uh, okay, sorry, by the way, this is 3 down here. So we've got to put that in. So uh, what we are now looking at is vertex... Uh, e or vertex 2. So, oh, by the way, actually, sorry, we'll finish off an F first. Magenta down here to F, F to 3, or F to B, 4 to 3. So far, so good. And now, the, the finally, we're going to look at these ones here. I'm going to paint them in um, blue. The uh, ones that come from E. To, yeah. Okay, that goes to A, so E to A, and it goes 1 to 2, so it's that one there. Uh, e to B, which is 2 to 3, that one there. And finally, um, e, uh, e to C, or 2 to 5, which is that one there. Okay, now it actually would help if you had a few more colors, a very uh, large coloring uh, a set of a set of markers or something like that. So I'm just gonna, I'm limited to uh, quite a few colors, but it just sort of actually would help uh, quite more uh, quite a bit more. Now that's the first one there. So we actually sort of uh, successfully uh, showed that the edges are equivalent to each other if we allow six to equal d, five to equal c, four to equal f, b to equal three, two to equal e, and one to equal a. 
So, moving on to the next one. This one's a bit tougher. Now, we have to determine whether or not these two sets of uh, vert, uh, diagrams are uh, equal to each other. So I'm just going to sort of make a bit of room there. Let's go back here a second. It's like, it's got a bit squeezed there. Now, so we have 10 vertices and uh, they're all degree three. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, I, we can just sort of tell that by inspection that it, they, they're all degree three. Not, you can check it uh, the, the same way as we did the last time. What is our what is the best approach we can take here? Well, we can you try um, set up the approach I've used the last time, but I'm going to just sort of uh, propose a different approach this time. What we're going to look at is cycles this time. Okay, so this is just this is just a sort of alternative t uh, alternative technique to the one I've used the last time. Uh, so what we're going to do is use cycles. So here we have a four cycle. Here we have a four cycle. Here we have a four cycle. Didn't really draw that that well. This is a four cycle. And this is a four cycle. Okay, and in in the middle, we have a five cycle. Okay, what is happening over on this side? So let's we should have the same amount of four cycles and five cycles. So first off, here's a four cycle. Okay, here we have a five cycle. Okay, down here at the bottom, we have a four cycle. Okay. We automatically run into trouble here. I'm going to just paint this in a different color, actually. We have an extra five cycle here. So automatically, we can tell now that these two graphs are not the same. We actually have another uh, a few more cycles here. I'll just complete all the cycles in this one. I'll just start to paint them in different colors now. So we have another cycle here. And that is also a five cycle. We have a five cycle down here also. And that, I believe, is to be all of them. There might be another few more in there. Anyway, essentially the problem is that there is a different number of four cycles and five cycles in both. Um in both uh, graphs. So it is not isomorphic. These graphs are not isomorphic. Okay, so that ends our presentation.